What's up wizards, I've got a bunch of old videos on this channel that I've been meaning to revisit. At the end of 2022, I came out with a bunch of videos about my hot takes. We did types versus interfaces, we did enums, we did return types. And now, time has passed, I've got a little wiser, I know a little bit more about TypeScript, and I've also got a sneaking feeling that I said some things that just weren't right. So, I'm gonna do something I find deeply uncomfortable, which is look at my old work. Let's see what this absolute mook has to say. My God, what a specimen in his Christmas jumper. Hello. Mm. I've changed my mind about types versus interfaces in TypeScript again. I've mm -hmm. been through three phases of this, and I'm kind of sick of changing my mind at this point. And every time I do change my mind, I think this is going to be the real one. And this time really is going to be the real one. So spoiler alert, it wasn't the real one. Phase one, interfaces are the bomb. This is what I used to think. And this actually to this day is what the TypeScript performance wiki says that you should do. It says, on okay, uh, it, uh, it doesn't say that. On that wiki, that interfaces are faster than types. It doesn't say that. Okay, uh, we've got our first thing I need to correct. This is funny, I'm on the TypeScript performance wiki and it says read carefully before you jump to conclusions on this page. I wish 2022 Matt had read that. So old Matt said that types versus interfaces was what the TypeScript performance wiki was contrasting, but it's not doing that. It's saying interfaces over intersections. If we look at the top here, we have type foo equals bar and baz and some prop string. This is an intersection of three types, bar and baz and this thing. But then below we have interface foo extends bar and baz and then add some prop string as the final member of this interface. These two things might look quite similar, but in fact, this interface extends is significantly faster than this intersection. All of this advice is written under a section called writing easy to compile code. And it turns out that the interface is easier to compile here than the intersection. That's because bar, baz, and some prop string have a hierarchical relationship. It's a lot easier to explain in code. Imagine if bar and baz both have an incompatible property. In this case, it's ID where we have ID of string inside bar and ID of number inside baz. When we smush these guys together, you kind of think there might be an error here, but there actually isn't. We are perfectly allowed to do this. And if we hover over results, we see bar and baz. But then the ID at the end here, what type is that going to be when I hover over this? Well, it turns out it's the same thing as if I were to combine string and number together, which is kind of impossible. So ID actually ends up being a type of never. But what if we were to change these types into interfaces instead and use interface extends? Well, we can see that we're getting an error on result. Interface result cannot simultaneously extend types bar and baz. Named property ID of types bar and baz are not identical. In other words, it's yelling at us for the same thing that the intersection let us get away with. So this code, even though it looks pretty similar, it's actually easier for TypeScript to compile. This hierarchical relationship means that TypeScript is able to check at each level. Whereas when you smush these guys together with the intersection, it's not quite so easy for TypeScript. So 2022 Matt is absolutely wrong here. Declaring an interface and a type just as a basic object are not going to give you any performance differences. It's about when you smush object types together. That's when you get the performance difference. Let alone the fact that TypeScript is about to get 10 times faster thanks to its port to go. So yeah, this guy, this guy is wrong. I wanted to find out if this was true. And so I made a benchmark kind of throwing together a thousand types versus a thousand interfaces faces to see which one compiled fa I did a benchmark? I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Oh god. Master. There were lots of problems with my benchmark and like I'm not sure if I found a good answer but what I sort of found was it doesn't matter which one you use in terms of just pure number of types. This is- Yes, exactly what I was saying. Exactly what I was saying. So a question, uh, 2022 Matt Pocock. If you found a result which contradicted your hypothesis, did you change your hypothesis? No. The folly of youth, honestly. Initiated a lot of cool conversations with the TypeScript team, though, and they basically said that this advice kind of isn't relevant anymore. And actually, there are lots of different things you can do if you want to squeeze more performance out of your type checking. Okay, so I would say the advice is absolutely relevant. It's taken me a long time to actually collect real world data about this because it is quite rare, but I found a rock solid example and I put it in an article This pattern will wreck your React Apps TS performance. The example is this one here where you're creating a button and you want all of the properties from the original button type 
but to add an extra property to it. It turns out if you do this with an intersection here and you repeat that over the course of a very large code base, you can absolutely wreck your TypeScript performance. But if you change this to interface extends instead, then it gives you a pretty massive speed boost. I got this from Jonas, who was at Sentry at the time. They halved their compile times and made the developer experience instantly reflect type changes. So there we go, interfaces versus extensions do actually matter. But types versus interfaces, nah, not so much. Took me on to phase two, which is it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're consistent. Every object should probably yeah. be typed as an interface and everything else should be typed as a type. Or if you just want to use types for everything, that's totally fine as well. Sure. This is interesting Agreed. because actually interfaces have some of their own properties. They can do things which types just can't do. Interfaces come bundled with a bunch of features that you probably don't care about, especially if all you want mm. to do is like define a basic object type. Here's one. Declaration merging. Declaration merging is like a massive pain with interfaces. On the top here, we have an interface animal, which has a name of string. And then just below it, we declare another interface with the same name and it has meow, which is a function that returns void. And now the bottom animal basically needs both properties in order to satisfy it. I've worked in like 1000 line files before where I've had an interface called like event at the very top and then another interface called event at the very bottom. And they overrode each other. I didn't spot it for like 20 minutes. It's it's really not fun. However, you can, if if you're using TypeScript ES lint, just turn on no unsafe declaration merging. And even though TypeScript will merge the declarations, you'll still get an error from ES lint. So yeah, it's annoying, but you can get around it. This is like a critical feature of TypeScript if it wants to support like different things appending to window or something. Yep. This really hit home for me when the inventor of AngularJS came to me on Twitter and asked me a question that I couldn't solve because of the way the interfaces behave. Worth saying, I do not remember this interaction whatsoever. Thank you, Mishko, for that can't be like appended to after they've been created but because interfaces can be appended to then it screws the whole thing up okay i think i know what i'm going on about here but i'm being pretty indirect about it if we go to my article on total typescript about type versus interface the issue i'm describing is that type aliases have an implicit index signature of record property key unknown this comes up in some funny places let's say you declare an interface of known attributes so x is a number and y is a number then you create a variable that fulfills that contract then you declare a record type and a record type has an index signature this is essentially an object that can have a any number of keys that are strings and the values are numbers. So this interface absolutely should match up to that type because we've got two keys that are strings, just there, X and Y, and the values are both numbers. But bizarrely, it doesn't. The reason for this is that an interface could later be extended. In other words, it could be declaration merged by something else. And it might then have a property added that doesn't match the key of string or the value of number. You can fix this if you want to by adding an extra index signature or, and this is incredible, just changing it to use type instead. So type known attributes, x and y is a number, known attributes, record type, and it just works. So that's why Mishko's thing wasn't working, if I remember correctly, which I do not. And so I have entered phase three. Phase three is use types unless you need a specific feature of interfaces. If you need a type that extends another type, then use an interface. If you want to say this class extends an interface, use an interface. There is no performance difference between them. Types perform just as well as interfaces. Okay, so I think this is where I want to change my recommendation. I didn't have the data in 2022 that I do now. I've seen, and we saw earlier with the Century story, disaster stories where using intersections in the wrong way doubled their compile time. I think the things that I was finding like risky about interfaces are really not that big of a deal. You can handle the edge cases with declaration merging with an ESLint rule. And the weird index signature thing comes up so rarely that I had to be contacted by the guy who created Angular before I even noticed. So I think my recommendation has unbelievable changed again. The biggest danger to do with types or interfaces is the slow degradation of your TypeScript performance due to more intersections. So here I'm saying default to type until you need a feature of interface. I think my new recommendation is default to interface until you need a feature of types. And I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, who cares? TypeScript is about to get 10 times faster in terms of performance. And I mean, yeah, you're probably right. But when I when I talk to Anders, right, when I talk to Anders Harsberg, which is a video on this channel, he said to me, you should still be thinking about performance. Just because you've now got a bigger TypeScript budget does not mean that your type should be any less performance. You know, it's, it's Anders, so uh, 
let's trust him. Don't trust me, trust him. So overall, what have I learned? Well, I was wrong about types versus interfaces. I even created a benchmark and uh, didn't listen to the results of the benchmark. My recommendation has changed, but also I, I think I just care less about this. Once you've flip-flopped your opinion so many times, and honestly, I think that just the thing you need to remember is default to interface extends over intersections. But if you're just like asking, how do I type this single object? Do I use a type or interface? It does not matter. Make it a type on Tuesday and an interface on Wednesday. Who cares? Well, folks, if you enjoyed that, then you will enjoy my Total TypeScript course. You will love seeing everything that I'm doing on AI Hero as well, which is my new project. I've even got a new AI engineer roadmap that helps you turn yourself from a web dev to an AI engineer. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you very soon.